Hello, how you guys doing? My name is Gerard Fairley. Um, I want to just talk about something a little bit different today. Um, plan A and Plan B. I want to just, you know, every now and then it's good to explore these kinds of things, beliefs. You know, because besides having the right paperwork and the right cars to buy and sell to make money, you have to have the right belief because everything comes out of that. And I want to just, you know, I was just looking at something this morning on my phone, you know, on, on Instagram. Uh, it says, always have a plan B. And a lot of people believe that. And I wanted to just give you my, you know, opinion on that. Just to give you something else to, to analyze and see if you can take some benefit from it. What if you only had one plan? What if you only had plan A? I mean, you have to make it work. And it will force your creativity to flow. Your spirit will cut off any excuses. Will cut off excuses because you have to make that plan A work. That's different than Okay, I got I got plan B, so if this doesn't work, I can fall back on plan B. That that can it's all about belief. It's all about belief. It's all about belief. But I want to put to you a subtle a subtlety to that. We as human beings are very effective when we focus on one thing. When we focus on one thing, one huge goal at a time. So if you're trying to build a business with auction access and flipping cars, and that's your plan A, and then your plan B may be auto detailing or real estate or something else. Uh, if this doesn't work, and I got plan B, I'll do that. You know, I got $5,000 to invest. I'll, I'll do this, and I'll try this. I'll try this. You know, we, we, we try stuff. No, don't try it. Because trying gives yourself an excuse not to succeed at it. And I tried it. It didn't work. Do it. Do it. But when you say, I'm going to do something, you exclude and you get rid of excuses. When we remove excuses from our peripheral, then we're able to focus more on that thing that we want to do. So I put to you, I submit to you that if you have a plan A and a plan B, your energy is split. Your focus is split. You may be 80% on plan A, but there's a 20% of you, 20% of your energy that's sitting on plan B. What if there was no plan B? That's the kind of intestinal fortitude that helps you to create something out of nothingness. That's what you're doing when you're creating a business. It's just an idea. So now you have to collect the resources together to make this idea physical in your life, in your business, in your life. So you can leave legacy to your children. So they don't have to do the same thing that you and I are doing, trying to build a business. Let's leave something for them. So let's be razor focused. So today's, fo day, today's weeks for myself and I like to also present it to you as well, that to be more focused on what we're doing and to remove distractions. So if you're going to do something, decide you're going to do it. There's no plan B, C, D, E, F, G. Don't dilute your energy. There's plan A. And I'm going to connect to the resources that's necessary to make plan A work. Pray to God, universe, whatever it is, creativity, whatever your wording is that you need to tell yourself. But once you are directed to doing this as a business, yo, I like I like cars, man. I'm going to sell cars. Once you feel that, once you get that, you got to go with that. So your only obstacle is your own fear, is your own head. What people are telling you, it may not work. That's not going to work. You don't blah, 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 blah. 
yeah, you're right. So I, I, I'll try it. And if it don't work, I can always do blah, blah, blah. No plan B. This is Gerard Fairley. I'll talk to you later.